This is video number 91 for viola players, and in this video we're going to continue working on our C strings um, and continue to try to contribute our notes um, on our C strings. So, I need you to open up to page 36 in your book. Let's do a little bit of echoing first. Start with just four open Cs, lots of weight on the bow, not a lot of bow. Echo me. C, 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 C. Now put three fingers down. This is an F. Remember, it's not F sharp. It's playing on the F. Put play four Fs. F, 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 F. Now do two Fs and then two E's. E, remember, is two fingers. F, then E. Try that. F, F, E, E. Now do two D's, one finger and two E's, two fingers, D then E. D, one finger, and E, two fingers. Now go C, D, E, E, try that. C, D, E, E. Now I want you to do four fingers over on the C string. We didn't play this in the last video. But we talked about it. Four fingers on the C string is G. So they open G. Play four G's on the C string. Four fingers on the, G, on the C string. Get that elbow way over. And the G, fourth finger. G, G, G. Now do two G's and two F's. G, then F. Four, then three. G, G, F, F. Now do two G's and two E's. Two fingers. G, then Four then two. G then E. And G, G, E, E. Now do G then D. Four then one. G, G, then D, D. One finger. Okay, now let's kind of review how to read the notes on the staff, or below the staff, really. So, you can look at your book right now, but... I want you to name this note right here. I'll give you a couple seconds to look at it. Okay, this is D. One thing that'll help you, remember ones and threes are on line, so it's either gonna be D or F. Opens, twos, and fours are on spaces. That'll get you started. That's not always gonna be true for you, but for now, ones and threes are on line. This is D, one finger. Okay. That is E, two fingers. C, open C. F, three fingers. Sorry, it's not drawn very well, but that was supposed to be like there. That's E, two fingers. F, three fingers. I'm pausing to give you time to answer it yourself. Open C, no fingers. D, one finger. F, three fingers. Okay? So, if you feel like you know those, then you are ready to do 148. Let's just shout about it's not too difficult. Your very first note is an F, and you might notice it's just going halfway down the scale and then coming right back up. Shadow bow 148 and one, two, shadow bow go. F, F, then E, two fingers. One, two, 148, and go. F's, three fingers. Now E. Open C. Only one of them. Rest, lift, open C. Okay? 
Now, we are not going to Shadow Ball 149. I'm just going to play it. It's just a scale. It's weird, though. They go backwards. I haven't figured out quite yet why they do that. I think they just do that to see how well you're reading your notes or just to make it variety. I don't know. But it's doing the C major scale. And this is not the C major scale you've been playing, okay? This is, C, uh, this is a different octave. It's the lower octave. You've been playing C major scale and starting on three fingers on the, on the G string, just like this one does. But then you've been going up and playing the higher octave. This one has you starting here, going down, playing the lower octave. Now you might be thinking C major has low twos. C major has low twos. No, C major has all naturals. And in this case, everything that's on the tape, on the C and on the G string, is natural. It's over here where it's messed up, and you got to do low twos. But on the G string and the C string, everything is natural. So start three fingers on the G string, read your music, play with me. 149. One, two, C, and go. C, now B, two fingers. Now A, open G. 